Karibu. Jina langu ni PTR LM Tumizulu wa Marifado. Welcome. This is one of the books that we have recommended, Stolen Legacy by Professor George G. M. James. I hope you all have uh, this copy. We first and foremost want to congratulate you and say Alienzeka atle maita shakanaka. Asante sana for being with us uh, today. We read the introduction here and we shall go through a number of other sections uh, in way of uh, introducing uh, the study of our mysteries. Very, very interesting and important. The introduction here says that uh, the term Greek philosophy to begin with is a misnomer. For there is no such philosophy in existence. Uh, take your time to digest that. Take your time to think about that. There is no Western civilization at all. It's all a form of our ancient system that has been taken over by the conquerors and they've rebranded it. It's not originally theirs. The ancient Hamitians had developed a very complex religious system called the Mysteries, which was also the first system of salvation. These are very powerful, powerful sentences and the words which needs all of us to digest. So, the first phrase that you need to think about is Greek philosophy and remember it does not exist. What exists is a very complex religious system called the mysteries. I hope you are getting this right deep into your soul, to awaken your soul. What are these mysteries? Where do they apply? Who started with them? Are they still there, these mysteries? Can you use them today? What are they like? How do they work? As such, the mysteries regarded the human body as a prison that houses the soul. We have uh, dealt with this in many, many, many videos. However, the soul could be liberated from its bodily impediments through the discipline of the arts and the sciences and advanced from the level of mortal to that of a god. If you want to study metaphysics, you can study Greek philosophy. But if you want to study what our ancient ancestors discovered and taught and constructed an enduring civilization until at the point of time where they violated certain rules, laws and regulations, you have to study the mysteries. The committee mystery system was also a secret order. And the membership was gained by initiation and a pledge to secrecy. So there are three conditions here. You must remember that this is a mystery system, a secret order, and the initiation guarded by your pledge to secrecy. It's a mystery system, a secret order, gained through initiation and guarded by you through your pledge or oath. After nearly 5,000 years of prohibition against the Greeks, they were permitted to enter Hamid for the purpose of education. That was the first violation of a standing order that prohibited the Greeks and other foreigners from learning anything of the mysteries. First, through the Persian invasion, and secondly, through the invasion of Alexander the Greek from the 6th century BCE, therefore, to the death of Aristotle, the Greeks made the best of their chance to learn all they could about ancient Egyptian culture. Most students received instruction directly from Egyptian priests so, this is the reason why we collapsed. I believe and I trust that you can understand that 
and then think about that very very seriously the cause of our downfall was because we allowed certain characters to learn what was prohibited by the divinities to pass on to anybody i am hoping and i'm praying seriously that we understand what we are saying here therefore that is why we are saying we are not going to deliver everything on the platter we are going to do as much as we can to show you the light to give you the torch so that the divinities may appear. Chapter 3 of the same book, Stolen Legacy by Professor George G.M. James. Greek philosophy was the offspring of Kamitic mystery system. The Kamitic theory of salvation became the purpose of Greek philosophy. So for you and me, your goal is not to learn metaphysics. We've already seen that metaphysics is not applicable to anyone who is melanin dominant or muntu. Metaphysics is for the Greeks. Metaphysics is for others. For you, it's the mysteries. The earliest theory of salvation is the Hermetic theory. The Hermetic mystery system had as its most important object. Now, this is the objective of why you should study the mysteries. You are, I'm not your teacher. I'm not teaching you anything. I'm just a guide. I'm just your guide. And I'll just be showing you that look at that. Look at that. Consider that. What do you think about that? There are no examinations. No one is going to be marked. Life is going to give you a tick that you have done it, you have succeeded, or you have failed. The same with me. So I am almost in the same quandary and predicament as you. But there's something that has happened to me and there's something that has happened to others that will justify their position and put them in a better situation, a better paradigmatic standing in terms of what they know, where they want to go and what they must absorb today. This is not for you. Find it in your heart and please leave us alone. But if this is for you, Please proceed and uh, remain with us. So this is the objective uh, of you studying uh, this. The mystery system has as its most important object the deification of men. When they say men here, they include females and the males. We are not like other organizations where we have got only one gender. And they taught that the soul of man, if liberated from its bodily fetters, could enable him to become godlike and see the gods. May the gods appear. This is where I derived it from some two, three years ago. And see the gods in this life and attain the beatific vision listen to the following and they hold communion with the immortals what does this mean hold communion with the immortals what does that mean how does this knowledge transform you to become divine like to see the divinities another benefactor of the opening up of the doors of Hermet Plotinus defines this experience is the liberation of the mind from its finite consciousness when it becomes one and is identified with the infinite that's very critical and very important what is the infinite what is finite consciousness and what is the infinite how do you know you are operating in the finite level and how will you be able to operate in the infinite levels this liberation was not only freedom of the soul from bodily impediments but also from the will of reincarnation or rebirth 
So, this is introduction to mysteries. And uh, to those that want to be engaged in mysteries. So, your education will consist not only in the cultivation of the ten virtues which were made a condition to eternal happiness but also of the seven liberal arts which were intended to liberate the soul so there are ten virtues and there are seven liberal arts this is what we are going to be engaged in this preacher rabbi lm was saying may the gods appear may the divinities give you the right and reveal it to you more and greater works than what we have done thus far. Amen, 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 Ra.